Good day, everybody. It is May 22nd, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Big Bear Lake, technically. Or actually, we're right on the border of Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City right now. But according to the radar and the, the forecast yesterday, um, some of this monsoon flow wasn't supposed to come into town today. It looked like we were going to start getting our, our break. However, we're not getting a break from it. So, thought we would drive us into a little bit of the rain once again you guys know this is what I do I know sometimes it gets pretty redundant but I love what I do and look it's starting to rain it's starting to rain and <laughs> I just wanted to say that I forgot to tell you guys thank you for all the birthday wishes. I it's I had so much going on. It's unbelievable, but um, thank you for all the birthday wishes. I really appreciate them. I meant to get online and like type them all out like Nick does, but it's a lot. It's a lot of work. You guys are worth it though. And a lot of fun, yes. It is. But guys, she she went through um an incredible tragedy that is one of the two worst tragedies we ever go through in in life and so uh please understand she 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 really wants to respond to you guys she loves you guys a lot um i do and i appreciate you guys a lot i don't want anybody to ever feel like they're ignored or like i don't care just you know i don't support the channel because i do i'm totally supportive of what nick does and amazed that he can get through it every single day but um, yeah my my I recently did a what was it called babe uh, ancestry yeah like 23 and me DNA type type mm -hmm. thing or like ancestry.com and yeah. then I found like my real dad that I never knew my entire life and I actually got to meet him and we met probably a little under a year ago and then he recently passed away so I'm really sad about it it's been keeping me in bed <laughs> so yeah yeah guys she, she... I'm not laughing because it's funny I'm laughing because it's a, like a nervous laugh type of thing um, but yeah I'm devastated and it's really hard to you know keep having like these major things happen and and function and all. And yeah. functioning, yeah. I can still function, but my social skills, they go like way, they're gone. <laughs> they go away. But yeah, guys, at least on a positive note, when there is no positive note, when when, when your father passes away, but on, on a positive note, she got to meet him and kind of put a little bit of closure to that part of her life. Um, I'm super grateful that I got to meet him. I'm just sad that it didn't last longer it took her 43 years but you know what all of you who believe in a power greater than yourself understand that um, he was put into her, her life for that closure reason to get to at least know him and uh, you know our our higher power made that happen because uh, it's important and it clearly happened right at the right time because, uh, I mean, yeah, he had a massive heart attack and, and he didn't make it through it, which is really, really tough. But I'm glad, I'm really glad you got to meet him. I am too. And the crazy thing is, guys, he didn't even live that far away. Just right down the mountain. But it, it's, you know, they always say, like, be grateful for the time that you get. And I am very grateful always um, for any time that I've had with anyone. I, I'm always super grateful. But I just wish just a little longer would have been nice. I don't want to be, you know, unappreciative of that time. But just a, like, you know, just a little longer would have been nice. So 
once again, everybody, always tell the people in your life that you care about how much you love them all the time, even if you're upset with them. So true. Even if they're upset with you, because you never know when it's going to be taken away from you. And uh, once again, the 23andMe DNA type stuff, I mean, if you're missing relatives out there, please do that. Oh yeah, that's a great way to know if you're looking for anybody, because I spent from the time I was 19 to now 43 looking for him and it was just the ancestry thing that led me to where there. So it's a long time that I was looking for him. And some of the things that my wife was told over the years weren't necessarily the truth and so I'm glad she she just kept on digging and digging and digging. And God bless her, man. She does. I love you guys. She does. Sweetest comments, nicest people. And not to change the subject or anything, but I think I just saw a little bit of hail. See that now? Yeah. So, yep. We're, in Upper New Jersey. We're getting a little bit of hail, guys. It is hail. Good, good eye, babe. Which means we probably got some lightning around us, too. Glad we're not driving the new car right now. I always like coming up here to take a little view over the valley. Let's see here. Okay, so you can see blue skies right there. But then let's turn towards Big Bear City and look over there. Yeah, there are some ice particles on the hood. And here's a dark part of this storm here. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're just gonna kind of turn this direction and, and get a little bit of the valley in the, in the video here. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, guys. So we had to seek out this heavier rain, but that's kind of the storm chasing aspect that I love. As you guys know, in the winter time, when we get our first snowstorm, because the first couple storms they'll come in. And it'll snow at like the top of Snow Summit, and but it'll be raining down here. And so all when we get those storms that are like where it says snow at like eight to nine thousand feet, I'll drive us all the way to Onyx Summit to catch the first snow before anyone in town gets any snow. So we'll usually catch snow on this channel weeks or a month ahead of anybody else um, in Big Bear. Not that anyone else cares like I do, <laughs> but. Yeah, this is quite a, quite a downpour, you guys. I'll tell you what, I wish this was a little bit more over Big Bear Lake for some direct rain into the lake, but it is what it is. It will be. That's true. It's very, very, very possible because these storms are coming from the from the I don't know the the northeast side of the lake, I believe, heading this direction. So. really beautiful this morning when we took the pathway to walk and it was like blue skies but little droplets of water and it, it just was so beautiful. It felt like I was in a forest paradise. And funny enough you are. You're in Big Bear. <laughs> <laughs> and once again guys please uh, w w when I find out more 
more information about that that thing I'm gonna be on on a permanent basis on Roku and Vimeo. Um, I, I'm gonna give you guys the instructions so you can check it out, support me there, um, su support the gentleman's television station. I'm not 100% sure about like how it works or or, or, or what exactly it is, but um, he had me send him a bio. So I sent him a, a short bio last night talking about, you know, what a bio talks about <laughs> and hoping that, uh, but yeah, I just hope that it brings more people to Big Bear, brings some more eyes on Big Bear. Big, huge. A lot of time wow, it's really hailing good right now. YouTube, but uh, I definitely huge Roku fan, and I was telling you how huge that being added to the Roku is just huge for the time. I'm super excited. About Guys, it. look at this hail. Yeah, look at the little hails bouncing off the car. What the hail? <laughs> what in the hail is going on here? I don't okay. know if anybody's been watching the news, but Austin, like a few weeks ago, got huge like this yeah yeah that's believe it or not babe this time of year that's pretty typical through the midwest and what's called tornado alley um Crazy. yeah man? oh man oh like could you imagine owning a brand new car without a garage there was, there was like some lightning right there dog walking and he was getting hit by it i felt so bad oh that's horrible that's horrible is there anyone behind us no no we're in a pretty quiet part of middle to upper Moon Ridge right now, so we're just gonna hang out right here for a, a moment. Because where we can be in the, the the heaviest hail is where we're gonna have the best chance for the nastiest part of the storm. Guys, it, there was literally a couple drops outside my house, but I always check the radar anytime I see something like that. And I didn't see anything nearly this strong, so. Sometimes Mother Nature will surprise us like this and give us a little extra love. And look at how empty on gas I am. I am so empty here. So hopefully we don't get stuck. But we won't. I, I won't let that happen. Oh, look at the little pear sign. It's got a big pear with it. <laughs> and a huge gummy bear. Those must be like Gummy Bear, the owners of Gummy Bear. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'd have a little more lavish life. <laughs> they'd be in Tahoe <laughs> or something. <laughs> or Aspen. Well, maybe they're the owners of the bootleg Gummy Bear. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, guys. We're in a pretty heavy part of this storm here. Yeah, definitely a, hold on, just real, real quick. Definitely an area to hike back here, but it's a bare area for sure. Wow, that's really coming down, guys. Okay, we're gonna go down Bow Canyon. So we kind of just made a big move here. And because the storm is not a big storm, we could literally drive out of it in a second. So let's just enjoy this. And uh, these heavy downpours are so good for the lake, babe. Any flash flooding we can get, is a good thing for our lake level. And I posted a lake level information sheet today. I think we're right at six feet. I think. Our friend Gabriel Magana sent it to us like usual. Thank you, Gabriel.
it's already cooling up up here. And because of all the precipitation we've had this this year, some good flows of water will be will be able to make it down to the lake. And I'm super happy about that. As you can see, it's slowing up now. We're kind of driving out of it. But yeah, we are on a street called Bow Canyon in Moon Ridge. B-O-W. we're gonna head into town because I've got to get gas desperately but uh, we might stop the camera and then turn around depending on how it looks to go back into Big Bear City a little bit to try to capture more of this but look at that Just beautiful blue skies over there one direction is heaven the other direction is straight hell <laughs> look at that that's so cool there's definitely gonna be lightning guys Definitely, and definitely going to be swimming in my car in a minute. And guys, um, I'm golfing here on the 26th. So what I was thinking about doing is, I know it would be a ridiculously long video to record the whole day golfing. So what I'm thinking about doing is my first time out there this season is I'm just going to record the tee box area of every hole and then driving up to the green of every hole. Um, just so you guys can see what our nine holes look like and just how beautiful it is up here. That's another way that you guys can help our town is by coming up here and spending money there, playing golf up here. And for those of you who have a few extra bucks who wanna come golfing often, I think for like 500 bucks, it's not the full-time pass, but I think like every day other, other than, than the weekends and like, after I think 11 a.m. You can play anytime you want. Um, we'll see how I'm doing financially because I'm planning on playing golf a good amount this season and, and getting my wife involved because I think she would really, really enjoy it. Um, I used to talk smack on golf and uh, then I became at one point really, really good and, and uh, I, I had a famous coach, his name was Glenn Deck, out of Pelican Hill Golf Club in Newport Coast, which is where my mom lived for, for many years, and uh, he got me on to, the, uh, <coughs> to some qualifying rounds for the, <coughs> for the Nationwide Tour <coughs> and the Golden State Tour, and obviously I didn't qualify because I'm up here. And I got sick with my Crohn's disease, which is a bummer. But um, from my baseball career, which I got in trouble for um, cannabis, if you know what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, that ruined everything for me. And and, and now that stuff's okay with like everybody. But uh, I still think you can't do it in sports, though. No, sure. Well, yeah, yeah. It's 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 the weirdest thing. But but you don't get in trouble. It, it, it's considered a performance enhancer. No, but I was in school at the time, so that's why I, 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 I couldn't transfer to Cal State Fullerton to play baseball because once I got in, in trouble at high school, then uh, all of that fell off for me. It was the most depressing thing ever because I was seeing dollar signs and fame and just so much stuff coming. Even though I'm a little guy, like, uh, like I... I I had a very different athletic prowess, like, like, like I, I was athletic like a six foot four person. <laughs> and now I'm so out of shape, which is why it just kills me. But yeah, so golf was my thing. And I'm going to do a recording of every hole for you guys. So you guys can just see how beautiful every hole is. All the background views <laughs> when you're hitting your golf ball, it's so distracting because it's, I mean, it's so gorgeous out there, you guys. And as a matter of fact, I wouldn't mind getting a little part-time job over there because then I could golf for free and still make a couple bucks being on a golf course doing what I like to do. Well, we shall see. I haven't wanted to work for anybody in a long time. I've... I've 
stayed away from having a boss for six years now, almost six years. Every penny that I make is because of what I do and what I generate, which feels so good because I don't have to, even though I, 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 I am typically up at a certain time to open for what I do regularly, um, you know, if I'm late, which I try not to be, but if I'm late, I'm not gonna get fired. Uh, the worst thing that'll happen is my business will be affected, but I don't ever let that happen. Um, I'm telling you guys, taking those sacrifices and those calculated risks in life to not have to work for anybody, even if it's not that much money, as long as you get your bills paid, I'm telling you, it's so rewarding to just live your life how you want. Wow, look at these clouds, man. So that's where we just came from up there. It's nasty up there, wow. So we're gonna get gas right now. I'm gonna shut it off for the gas. And then we'll see. Well, look, look at that, just beautiful blue skies. That's kind of, that's exactly how it was. How these clouds are and then how the skies are all blue. When we walked this morning, it was just so beautiful. It's and spectacular. Just little droplets of water it just added to the, And then remember at this gas station, guys, do not use your debit card with your PIN number. I'm gonna use a credit card right now to, to put a couple bucks in. Do not use your debit card and PIN. All right, we'll get back on the road in a sec, filling up with gas right now. Hang on, guys. All right, you guys, we just left 7-Eleven and we are going to head to the other side of town because those dark clouds got even darker. And typically I would take Big Bear Boulevard that way, but we're gonna actually go on, uh, oh, there's the, the Google Street View car driving around. That'd be a fun job, because I, I love driving, so just driving up and down every street, that'd be kinda cool. All right, guys. This is great. get to Division Road, we're gonna turn left and take North Shore. We'll probably just go down to Paradise and then turn around there. Oh yeah. I wanted to go over there and drive on that side of the lake is because I want to be able to point the camera this direction and get a better view for y'all for y'all this is so awesome this is so pretty guys we're gonna have a heck of a fire season I'll tell you what That's what I'm hoping when we turn left here, we'll be able to see all that right over our, our mountains right there. And then we gotta go to the grocery store. I'll be beginning the upload by that time. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep the camera pointed over there. Hopefully you guys can catch some lighting. And we're gonna stop it here at the light and then we'll start it again. Hang tight, guys. All right, you guys. So we are back on. So this is looking over the lake and over towards the Big Bear Dam. There's just beautiful blue skies over there. Look at how pretty that is. That is really pretty. And seeing all that water right there is just amazing too. 
now we're at North Shore, turning right from Division Road. And North Shore, this part of it is AKA Highway 38. And a few more blocks up this way, it turns from Highway 38 to Highway 18. getting deeper into Big Bear City. A lot of you don't know, and I didn't know it either until I, I moved up here. There's actually a Big Bear City and a Big Bear Lake. They're two completely separate uh, towns. I never knew that until I moved up here. I just thought this was all Big Bear, California. Okay, so now it turns from Highway 38 to Highway 18. Now we're on Highway 18. It's very confusing sometimes, people. This is the last connection from North Shore to South Shore before you head into Baldwin. Now look at that. Look at look at some of these rays of rain coming down. That is so awesome. Let me turn turn off my windshield wiper. Keep your eyes peeled this this way, you guys. I'm I'm hoping we'll be lucky and catch some some lightning. And if we do, it is gonna be from right there. And it could be nice too. It could be really really pretty. All these videos I do, we're we're bound to catch something great. That's what I was telling my wife. We're bound to catch something great. Now we're kind of out of this. And then look at the storms just just bailing out of here. Very blue sky over there. All right, so we are, yeah. I think we're done here, you guys. But we got some hail today, which was pretty awesome. I can't believe it. There's a plane coming in. <coughs> Not too smart to be flying in a thunderstorm, especially a little plane like that. But yeah, all right guys. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I, I hope you enjoyed the heavy rain and the hail that we just got. Um, awesome, I love that stuff a lot. And uh, thanks for listening always. Thanks for supporting us, being our friend, caring about us. We love you very much. Um, please like and subscribe. 
you know, I know a lot of people probably don't watch these videos till the very end because they're really long. So no one probably ever hears me ask to, to like and subscribe, but please do if you are still watching and you haven't done it yet because it really does help us out and it gives me a better opportunity to have these videos seen all over the world. And um, maybe someday if I'm lucky enough, it'll actually help support me and my wife. And uh, I'll let her say goodbye as well. Bye guys. And again, thank you for all the birthday wishes. I really appreciate all of you. And um, I was going to say something else, but I forgot what it was. But mostly just thank you for all the birthday wishes. <laughs> Absolutely, you guys. Absolutely. So yeah, let's just uh, turn left here on Bob Barker. Oh wait, it's not a through street. Anyway, we're done with this uh, video anyway. Oh, beautiful trees. Yeah, I was just, just thinking that. What a good place to end the video. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Love you very much. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Help a brother out. And uh, we will talk to you all later. Beautiful houses over here, too. Bye, you guys. It's May 22nd, 2023.